Hey folks, welcome back. So this week is going to be part one of maybe two or three with getting these cattle waters installed. In the last video, I mentioned that we were having a few issues with that and those problems are still not resolved. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and show what we've gotten done so far and then we will address those issues in a, uh, a later video. So before I started doing any filming, we'd actually worked on the two waters that are on the other side of the creek from where the mill house is here. And those seemingly went in without any issues. And then once we got to the first one on this side of the creek, which is right over uh, just in front of the mill house here, we started getting that one assembled and we noticed we were having a small leak around uh, one of the, the fittings. And so we were looking at that and messing with it and we ended up calling the company and as it turns out they had an error in their instruction manual on how to do this now in the manual it specifically says uh, to connect their water to an npt fitting which stands for national pipe tapered now there's also a similar one that you can get in other sizes except that is nps national pipe straight. Now, as you can imagine, the uh, the threads on the one slowly taper up at the uh, the end of the pipe, whereas the other one, it's parallel all the way through there. And they specifically stated to use NPT. Now, generally for NPT, as you get the, uh, the fitting tighter and tighter, because that tapers up, the further in you get it screwed in, it gets tighter and tighter. And then you also use like pipe tape or uh, pipe dope kind of paste along with that to help seal it up better. Now with straight threads, generally you have a washer. On their water, they had a rubber washer, which would be straight, but they were saying to use NPT, uh, the tapered, which is what our fittings are. It's kind of weird to combine the two, but that's what they were saying to do. Now, as it turns out, they apparently don't know the difference between NPT and NPS, and when he talked to him, he said, oh, well, no, you're, it, it goes together with a, a straight thread, not a, not a tapered one. So we went back and forth and finally uh, they agreed to send us some different washers that hopefully would fit better since we're combining two different thread types. They overnighted those to us and we got to test them out and that seemed to solve the issue. It's still kind of weird having the two different thread types combined, but uh, it is what it is. Now, of course, since this was the third one we'd worked on, we then had to go back to the previous two and swap out the washes and those, redo that. And of course, we, at that point, we had to drain the tanks because those were filled. And so it led to us having to redo some of the work that we'd already done. <laughs> So after we went back and got the original two fixed new washers and those, uh, we then were able to go around, we loaded up, uh, I think the rest of the water is into the back of the truck, drove around the farm, dropped all those off at each one of the locations, and then we were able to just come through and start installing them.
Now, the process with doing this is first we have to cut down this culvert pipe that uh, the water line comes up through. So we have to get that cut down to the same height as the concrete pad and then cut the water line down to the right level, put a fitting in there, and then connect a flexible line that goes from our fitting up into the float valve on the water. And then you can set the water on top and then hook the float valve to the flexible line. And then you're kind of good to go. So then you fill the tank up with water that weights it down, holds it down real well, and then you can drill your anchors into the concrete pad that hold it in place. Now, all in all, this went pretty smoothly, uh, getting them installed now that we had the sort of correct stuff in order to do this. However, unfortunately, that was not the last of our issues because as we were getting uh, the waters ready to go around, we realized that some of the threaded inserts in the lid were sunk in too far. Now, you have the main lid that goes over the majority of the top of the water, but then there's an, also a secondary smaller lid that goes directly over the valve. That way you can just pull that small lid off if you need to turn the valve on or off or do any maintenance on that without having to pull the entire thing off. And these metal threaded inserts for the small lid, very consistently, I think it was on four of the waters, the same one had been pushed down too far. So you weren't able to get your bolt to thread into it when you're trying to hook the lid on. Now, we mentioned this to the guy at the same time we were trying to uh, explain to him that there's a difference between NPT and NPS. And he said, oh, just you know, screw the, uh, screw the bolt into it and, and pull that up. Well, that's much easier said than done because this is very hard plastic. So we had to put some sort of a spacer in there so that you could turn the bolt into the spacer to pull this up. Now, that only worked on, I think, two out of the four waters. Well, that one's shot. And that... That one's filled up with plastic to where you can't even get this threaded into there. Well, that one, this one they're gonna have to replace. All right, so this one I tried working on before, wasn't able to quite get it. Brought some different stuff out this time. And this one isn't filled with plastic like the other one is, so I think I should be able to actually pull this one out, hopefully. I think the thread stripped on this one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that's two of them now that they need to replace. We'll see how our uh, third one that we have yet to work on is. All right, well, supposedly, this one here that's all the way at the back of the farm uh, had one of these little threaded inserts that needed work too but I got back here and all of them looked fine and I just put all the bolts in and they went in uh, just the way they were supposed to so either we somehow added one in that isn't there or we got a wrong one on here and another one of them uh, needs to have one pulled out but I'm not gonna go looking around today for which one it is that we missed now while I'm back here uh, we're actually having a, a issue with this one and that we are not getting the water pressure we should be. Now, the tank is up at the top of this little hill here. That's where the MVP right away is up there and everything. And we should be getting like 15 or 20 PSI down at this one. 
and we're only getting about two and these things need to have a minimum of i think five psi in order to work so we're having we're having some issues with this and we're kind of suspecting that there may be a blockage in the line and probably the most logical place that we would have that is over here where it reduces from one and a quarter down to three quarter uh probably what happened is when mvp was doing stuff up there they got something in the line because they had to mess around with pulling the tank out and putting the tank in and all that sort of stuff so they probably got something in the line and it was big enough or small enough to fit in the one quarter but once it worked its way down here to where it reduces uh, it wasn't able to pass through there and now that's blocking the line and now that's causing us to not have pressure uh, into our tank and also at the uh, the hydrant there that also doesn't have much pressure behind it too so we're gonna have to come out and do a little work on this uh, i don't think mvp is gonna do it and honestly i don't know that i would want them doing it either because well we've just had too many little issues like this with them doing stuff so uh i think we're just gonna have to see if we can't figure this one out so that pretty much takes us to where we're at now We've started on the process of starting to see if we can figure out why the, uh, the back water isn't getting pressure, but uh, we've just started on that and we haven't gotten that sorted yet. We also haven't gotten new lids from TrueTest yet for uh, replacements for the ones that are bad and uh, we aren't able to get our, uh, our bolts screwed into those inserts so we still are waiting on those and then we're also still waiting on gravel to go around the concrete pads on top of the geotextile fabric that's kind of wrapped up around the waters right now so still have several things that need to be done with these waters before they're wrapped up that we really don't have any uh, clear idea of when that's going to be finished so I really haven't been too impressed with uh, the, uh, the, the folks that are operating the True Test company. Uh, there's just been too many little issues like this, and they haven't seemed overly eager to uh, solve these problems either. It's just been sort of a, eh, well, you know, it is what it is. Here's how you can fix it. But hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get these fixed sometime in the near future, but with the way things are going, I have no idea how long that's gonna take. So I think that is all I have for you guys for this week. Uh, with any luck, maybe by next week we'll have one of these problems sorted, uh, but I'm not real, real confident on that and sure if that'll actually happen, so we'll uh, just have to wait and see. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.